Ulisa Bakobe, constitutional lawyer and senior advocate of Nigeria, have said that there is no constitutional process that can delay or stop the inauguration of the declared president-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu come 29 of this month. Nothing can stop it. It's not in the constitution. There's no section of the constitution you can quote. Just he has to be sworn in. And that's what the law says, according to Abakoba. Ulisa Abakoba himself is a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association. And he spoke today, saying that those who are looking towards the constitution to stop this inauguration, that he is disappointing them, nothing like that can happen. But are there other things that could stop that inauguration? We will see as we proceed in this video. Please like the video, share, and subscribe. So he said that after being declared winner of the February 25th presidential election by the Independent National Electoral Commission, that Bola Tinubu, though he's facing different lawsuits from fellow contestants like the Labour Party presidential candidate and the PDP presidential candidate, that still, that does not stop him from being sworn in. You know that according to INEC, Tinubu polled 8.7 million votes and the flag bearer of the PDP, Atiku Abubakar, got his 6.9 million votes and P2B of the Labour Party garnered 6.1 million votes. But upon all these votes and the voting and the issues in the tribunal, Tinubu will be sworn in on 29th of May. Of course, Atiku and um, P2B are in court to stop, or rather to reclaim the mandate, especially P2B of the Labour Party. Atiku is also saying that he won the election. But uh, Bokoba is telling them that even though that petition is going on in the presidential tribunal sitting in Abuja, and um, there is no constitutional process that they can lay hands on to delay the swearing in scheduled for May 29. So Tinubu will take that out of office and become the president while the case in the tribunal goes on. It's bound to happen. That is the verdict of Osita Abakoba. In his own words, he says it is important to state that the inauguration of Mr. Bola Tinubu on 29 May is bound to happen under our constitutional process. While the election tribunal deals with the petitions, there is no constitutional process to delay the inauguration of 29 May. We need to obey the rule of the constitution. That's the take of Olisa Awakoba. But I think that P2B or Atiku Abubakar, they are not saying specifically don't wear him in. Because that's one of the accusations they are laying against the Labour Party. Oh, they are saying there will be no swearing in, there will be no swearing in. They want to cause confusion. They want to create crisis in the country and the rest of it. And if they don't swear Bola Ahmed Tinubu in. It means they are calling for the military to take over the government. They are calling for interim uh, national government, which is not allowed, and the rest of those things. But the Labour Party has said, nobody is saying don't swear in. We are not into that, and we are not telling anybody to go and say that on behalf of the Labour Party. But could there be any other way to stop Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Yes, I think there is, and that is what some people from Abuja have done. There are residents in Abuja who are now saying that there is a question in that constitution or in the electoral law that has not been determined. We want to know exactly where we stand, and because it is not determined, and it is concerning we who are voters, in Abuja, we need to stop this inauguration. 
until that thing is determined. And that question is that all the presidents that have been installed in Nigeria since they returned to democracy, I think that all of them have got 25% in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory. It is only this time that that criteria has not been met by Bola Ahmed Tinubu because he didn't score 25% of the votes cast in Abuja. And Atiku Abubakar also did not. There's only one candidate that, I mean, overcame that obstacle. In fact, he took all the votes and denied all the others from making that. And that is the P2B of Labour Party. So the folks in Abuja, about five of them went to court to say, we want to know if Tinubu could be sworn in without getting this 25% of the votes in Abuja. And if not, we want him stopped. We don't want him to be sworn in. We want actually to have that interpretation before he is sworn in. In, a, in, in other words, they are saying there will be no swearing in until this case is determined. So that is the only possible way so far, constitutionally not possible, that that could be one reason to do that. Again, talking about whether it's constitutional or not, you know that this, uh, this law is, every lawyer has an opinion on these matters. That's why they are called lawyers. That's why some of them are on one side and some of them on the other, and they will argue with each other. So some will also argue that this is something that somebody has to meet before he's sworn in. Basically, another lawyer can say that what Ulis Abokoba is saying is not true, even if he's a senior advocate of Nigeria. But that contention, we haven't seen a lot of it. So most likely, and according to Abakoba, Bola Tinubu will be sworn in on the 29th of May, and then the case in the tribunal will continue to go on if any time they decide otherwise that is not the rightful winner of this election, they will kick him out, retrieve the certificate, and then give it to the person who is the rightful winner. And if the people that went to court, the Abuja residents, if the judges side with them and say he cannot be sworn in, he didn't meet this condition, then that is another question. In that way, he could be stopped. And do we have a constitutional crisis? I don't know, but most people say that even that happens, there are possibilities. There's still a Senate president that is still in office till the second week of June before they hand over to a new Senate. So he could assume the position of the president or any other way possible. Well, this is the opinion that Abakoba just released today, and we felt it's very important to let you know in case you are hoping that constitutionally Bola Metinibu could be stopped from being sworn in. That you know now this is his own opinion, and probably someone else will have something else to say about this. Thank you for watching this video. Like it, share, and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you in our next updates.